Nepal's Prime Minister lost a vote of confidence in Parliament yesterday after the largest party in his governing coalition withdrew its support, forcing him to step down from office after 19 months in power. Pushpa Kamal Dahal failed to get the support of more than half the members of the House of Representatives. The Nepal Parliament Speaker also announced that he only received 63 votes in his favour, while 194 other members voted against him, denying him the majority that was required for him to hold on to power. The loss of vote now puts him as the leader of a caretaker government until a new one is formed. And now, the former Nepal Prime Minister, K.P. Oli, has staked claim to form the next government. Political instability in the region continues. Now, beyond this, Nepal's president, Ram Chandra Podel, is also asking other political parties to come up with proposals for a new government. Beyond this, when it comes to the individual, the former Prime Minister of Nepal, K.P. Oli, he has already staked claim to form the government. What happens next remains to be seen. But Nepal's Prime Minister has lot, lost the vote of confidence. This took place yesterday. And this comes after the largest party in his governing coalition withdrew its support, forcing him to step down from office after 19 months in power. Now, when it comes to the numbers, According to the Parliament Speaker, he had only received 63 votes in his favour, while 194 other members had voted against him, essentially denying him the majority that was required for him to hold on to power. Now, Nepal is a region that continues to face political instability. This is not the first time that an incident like this has happened in the government. This has actually been happening since the abolishment of the monarchy in 2008. That's since when the Nepal region has been witnessing political instability. Now, this is the latest development when it comes to what exactly is taking place in Nepal with the government and with the prime minister, who, again, has lost the majority in the parliament. But importantly... The former Nepal PM KP Oli, and we're looking ahead now, has staked claim to lead a new government. This, as we mentioned, comes after the former PM lost the trust vote. Now we're being joined by a Nepal journalist, Mr. Parshuram Kafle. Uh, Mr. Kafle, what we wanted to ask you is, considering everything that's taking place in Nepal, KP Oli, the former prime minister, has now staked claim to form the government. If he becomes the next prime minister, as is being touted, how will this bode for the region which continues to witness political instability? Uh, yeah, uh, the main uh, political parties, Nepali Congress and uh, uh, CPI and UML, uh, they hold a majority uh, out of, uh, 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 we have uh, 275 uh, votes in the uh, parliament. So the main purpose of uh, this new alliance uh, have been uh, has been said uh, to uh, secure uh, stability uh, and uh, the the, the uh, uh, first and second largest parties they will uh, you know, form the government uh, with absolute majority and there will be no uh, necessity of uh, small parties so uh, uh, if uh, we look at the uh, uh, history uh, Prime Minister Pushpa Kamal Dahal Prasanda has uh, taken a uh, fifth time uh, that vote of confidence uh, uh, within one and a half uh, years, uh, which is a very, very, uh, uh, you know, pathetic situation for uh, Nepal's politics, uh, political instability. So they uh, decided to form the new uh, government, new alliance, and uh, yeah, definitely uh, uh, in comparison to the past. Uh, uh, there will be political stability, but the future uh, uh, we cannot predict because their past history is not uh, 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 as good as they have uh, 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 publicly uh, said. Uh, so, uh, two things: there may be misunderstanding uh, in between, uh, and uh, you know, the handover of the power from one party to the another party will be uh, challenges. 
All right, Mr. Kafle, thank you so much for joining us. That is, again, a journalist from Nepal getting us an inside look at what exactly is taking place on the ground. We really appreciate you taking out the time to speak with us on this major development in Nepal.